Welcome back to City Line, everyone. Today we are surrounded by our foodie friends. So I thought, let's talk food. I wanted to ask you all a question. Are there unusual food combinations that you just love? Like you really lean into them and then when people find out about them, they're like, ew, that is gross. Like people find them strange. Trudy, do you have any strange uh, food combos you love? Oh, you bet I do, Tracy. Throw <laughs> <laughs> a couple at us. Well, we'll start with, um, I would say ice cream, so vanilla ice cream and mm. soya sauce. <gasps> Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, this was all totally by accident. I yeah. went to a food festival where I was eating all of the things. Yes. Um, so I had some ice cream, had some sushi, and as I'm eating the sushi, some soya sauce splashed onto the ice cream that I had yes. in the cup. Yes. And I thought, ew, I don't want that. And I was like, mm, I'm at a food festival. Let me just try it. I tried it and I was like, oh. MD. Yeah. This is it right here. Was it like a little bit of the sweet, but then you got salty? That sweet right. and salty yeah. kind of flavor. Ooh. So, so when good. you're at home, do you put a little bit of soy sauce on your I might do that every now and again, <laughs> occasionally. My husband's like, ooh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jyoti, uh, give us some weird food combos so you're into. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Ice cream and olive oil, like extra virgin olive oil. Okay. It's so good. Like, I feel yes. like people are just doing it now. It's delicious. I yes. didn't think it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People so are good. into it. So, so good. Okay, anything else a little weird? Or is that about it? You know what? I don't know if this one's weird. Yeah. But I feel like no one really does it. It's a sliced banana. Yeah. And then you add some honey. Yeah. And then bacon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it works. Turn. Yeah. yeah. But it's so good. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's harder to see, but I can see it. Yeah. yeah. But I yeah. Love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shana, how about you? Okay, well, I do like to mix things. <laughs> I'm just a curious person, so I'm yeah. like, oh, I wonder what that tastes with that. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yes yeah. or no. But there's one thing I eat regularly. I started eating it in college. I have no idea why. Probably just like college student weird and stuff, yeah. budgets kind of thing. Totally. I love a toasted English muffin mm -hmm. with mayonnaise, mm -hmm. salsa, mm -hmm. a slice of green pepper, <laughs> mm -hmm. and a slice of cheese, and make it like a sandwich. You almost oh. lost me after mm. English muffin. <laughs> <laughs> on board with. Listen, yeah. I have no right to be grinding you at all I was going to say, I really yours. don't. I really don't. Because yeah. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to go back to the 80s, okay? Oh. So, oh, yes. latchkey kids, I mean, me and my friends were all latchkey kids. This is what you did unless you had a stay-at-home mom, right? Yeah. You were coming home by yourself with the key. And I don't know what it is about school, but it's like being on the desert for 30 days. You come home Starving. <laughs> so I would literally, I'd be like toasting waffles. I would be, I tried a bunch of things, okay? So everything had to have bread involved. And one day I was like, ooh, I'm gonna toast some bread and I'm gonna put peanut butter on it. But then I wanted more. So I got like deli slices of ham. Oh. And I put okay. them together. So bread, peanut butter, ham, bread, chopped it in half, ate it. And then I was like, I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> but you know what? I lied. I am going to do it again right now, and you're all going to have some, too. Oh. So this is what I will say. Okay, so not ham for everyone. Uh, yeah. That is not ham. Uh -huh. That is turkey. Uh -huh. You can do the turkey. You can give Joe T uh, oh, okay. the ham and peanut butter and all the ham okay. and peanut butter. And I, in my defense, at least I toasted the bread when I did this in real life. Oh, it is a little bit, I don't know. It's air toasted. It's yeah, it's air toasted. <laughs> <laughs> Dig in, you might like it. I'm into it, oh, let's try. I want everyone mm -hmm. to go first. Mm -mm. It's not that bad. Come on. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> school, you got to get inventive and use whatever you can find in the fridge. You feel me? Mm -hmm. If it's deli meat in a jar of peanut butter, that's what you got to do. I'm not offended. Oh, my no, God. Yeah, no, I think it's okay. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. This I didn't think it would go bad. this way. Listen. My taste buds will catch up. Yeah, I don't understand. I love it. that you put up with me. Thank you for that. Now, when you're among friends like these, there are all sorts of conversations and interesting questions that are never off limits. But sometimes there are questions you're a little afraid to ask. So enter Asking for a Friend. It's our brand new YouTube series with sexologist Dr. Jess O'Reilly and guests. 
where we cover topics that are too hot for daytime television. So you know it's going to be good. Episode one debuts today on City Line's YouTube channel, and it's all about sex toys. A new episode gets dropped every Tuesday for the next four weeks, so make sure to tune in. These are candid conversations that are both overdue and really essential to having happy and fulfilling relationships with a partner and with our own bodies. So definitely enjoy that. It's time for a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.